you know why I bought this? It's because it said waterproof. And I was like, that's what I need at Jacquard. I wanna know if this is going to be a good wedding foundation. Some of you know that I'm doing my own makeup for my wedding day. I did it also last year for my first ceremony. And I just never found anyone that I feel that could do a good job, especially on Asian features. So I'm like, I'll do it myself. So this one stood out to me. It's the new Urban Decay Face Bond Self-Setting Waterproof Foundation. It costs $40. There are 41 shades. I've shade 15 light medium warm. Some of the highlights include matte finish, non-comedogenic, good for redness, medium coverage, good for acne blemishes, uh -huh, me, good for dark spots, also me. This is a lightweight waterproof foundation with the skin and care benefits of a serum and self-setting powder for a blurring effect and a medium coverage matte finish. Although matte finish isn't my preferred, for a wedding where I'm gonna be outside for the majority of the day, I need a matte or something sad. Especially on my wedding day, I wouldn't go anything glowy at all. There's over a thousand reviews, 4.5 stars. The first one that I see six hours ago, oily skin approved, four star. I'm interested. Perfect for oily skin, okay for combo skin. Finish was very matte. Coverage was easily buildable since the formula is thin pigmented. I love a thin formula where it kind of just feels like nothing on the skin. I don't like anything cakey or heavy feeling. Next review, five stars would recommend. Good foundation. Definitely lasted me all day in the hot sun in Vegas. Okay, my boy, my, oh my gosh, I already said boyfriend. My fiance grew up in Vegas and I've been there before. Ooh, that dry heat. What about the humidity? So let's look at one where it doesn't have four or five stars. This one has three. Nice, but dot, dot, dot. The pro, it really lasts all day and like nothing on my skin. The con, it shows all my texture. I'm torn on returning it or keeping it. So let's get to applying this on my skin. I hope this is a good match. I am going to be a little bit darker in June, but for the most part, my face is always lighter than my body. Interesting packaging. This is a squeezy. Oh yeah, you can but it's still firm. That was very easy. Also, my hands are so incredibly pale. Okay, so let me take that back. My hands are the lightest, then my face, then my body. Ooh, yes, it is very thin. It kind of has a like a moussey feeling. So when I first applied it to my hand, it's not like it was running like a serum foundation. So let's do one side first. This is on the darker side. I think this is gonna work for the summertime. So that one person said it showed texture. I have a little bit of texture, but honestly not too much. And it's very surprising because my skin has just been going through it these last seven months. Now I'm testing this out with no primer, but I'm probably going to use a primer the day of my wedding. So we'll see with the dryness, because I do have some dryness specifically on my forehead, because that's where my breakouts were primarily, and that's kind of where I put where I put my medication, so it's just drying out my skin. But naturally, I do not have dry skin. This is definitely matte. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Let's see how buildable it is. And if I don't have to use any concealer on base. That was easy, right about here. I would say it's pretty buildable. Everyone's right where it feels very thin and lightweight. I do see some of the texture appearing by the forehead. Again, this is where I apply my medication, where I've had previous breakouts. I had a little bit of redness, it covered it up pretty well covered up this spot right here really well so i would agree with them that this is probably not good for dry skin i think if you have very minimal texture like me i think you could get away with this it even helped with the darkness under my eyes I like how this looks, but I am more than likely going to apply powder because there's just no way where I could just leave my skin like this, but we'll see. Let me finish up this side off camera and then we'll kind of see how it sets on its own. Like, does it feel tacky? Something that I just noticed that I didn't say earlier is that it's gathering under my eyes. Like right here, we see some patchiness. Some patchiness, but I think it's because of my under eye cream. I just tried the Summer Fridays one in the, I think it's like in a small pink bottle, got like a tester one, but it's gathering right here and I usually never have that kind of issue and since I just tried it this morning I shouldn't have keep that in mind if you're noticing that uh during my wear test just like right here right here or I'm gonna apply the tiniest bit of concealer I really don't need that much I do wonder what's gonna help with some of that gathering going on but this one is from Tower 28. This has been my favorite concealer, whether it's for under the eyes or for the face. For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution one. This is one of my top cream bronzers at the drugstore. For blush, I'm gonna go in with the Persona Cosmetic Cream Stick Blush in Guava. Somehow this cream blush and cream bronzer made this area right here better. It doesn't look so patchy. It does feel a little 
tacky has a little bit of transfer but i still want to powder my skin i'll probably just won't do as much going in with a new powder this is the laura mercier translucent press setting powder if am i am i gonna use am i gonna use their puff i don't think so i really love my triangular one. Oh yeah this looks good. I'm seeing more um, setting powders. Like M came out with one earlier this year. Always right here. That's where I get really oily between the brows. And that's all we're gonna do. Not as much as usual, but I really don't think it needs it. I kind of want to use some of these newer products in front of me. I don't know if this is a newer shade, but I didn't recognize it. It's the Urban Decay Moon Dust Single Eyeshadow. This one is in Cosmic Craze. I'm kind of hoping to use this for my trip. So I was like, ooh, that would be a pretty mermaid color. Just like a one one and done eye look. Then I'm just gonna blend the edges. This is really pretty with that guava blush. And then I wanna do something in the inner corner. I got another shade. This one is in Wild Dipper. I'm definitely bringing these on my trip. I don't think I wanna do eyeliner today, so we're gonna move on to the mascaras. This is a brand new mascara, but I've been using it for the last couple of days. Uh, this was sent to me. The company's called Speed. This is the Cloud Mascara in Dark Brown. This makes my lashes look so long. But first I wanna apply it with primer, the Etude one, of course. I haven't tried this mascara without primer. I do need to do that. I want to know, is it just as good on its own? This is a plastic bristle. It kind of reminds me of tubing mascaras. And I just filmed my tubing mascara video in the process of editing all of those clips. Now this is a dark brown, not warm. Adding two layers. It just gives me a lot of length and it makes my lashes multiply. They don't look clumpy. My lashes look so good and they stay up like this all day. For the lips, I've been loving this lip liner. I've been wearing it non-stop for the last three to four days. It's the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. Don't see the shade name. I'll have to put it in the description box. But I love the shade of it. This is my first time trying out her lip liners and it's very soft. This one came with another lip product, which is why it's so small. But for the center of the lips, I'm trying out another new product. Everyone was talking about this and everyone loves their lip balm, so I had to try it out. It's the Ola Hendrix Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment in Strawberry Sorbet. I put this on last night because I was so excited and it is nice. It's not too fragrancy and it's also not too sweet. But what's interesting is this does not feel like the Summer Fridays one. How do I describe it? It hugs the lips more and it kind of stays on. Though I haven't done a wear test with this, it just seems like it would have more longevity. No highlight today, no setting spray, no primer. We're just going to keep it like this. Really light. And it doesn't look too matte. Like you're still seeing some glow to it. I think if I really packed on that powder, we could have made it look more matte. But I think this is really pretty. So I will see you guys later today in eight hours. I'm looking more oily than I was expecting. For a matte foundation, the oiliness is really coming through. This is almost giving me dewy skin, which is not what I'm going for. I did also try a new setting powder. Maybe if I gone in with like a heavier one, it could have helped it. But either way, I'm torn because it's not a bad product, but if you're getting it for longevity and you have oily skin, you're probably going to end up with something like this after eight hours. I think this is actually closer to nine hours because I started filming at like eight in the morning. But it's not a bad product either because it was so lightweight, thin, buildable, light to medium coverage. I like how it feels on my skin. It just doesn't feel heavy. I just know in order for this to make it work, especially if I'm gonna use this on my wedding day, not too sure if I am because if I'm going to put on my makeup around 10 is kind of what I'm going for. Six hours later after that, what? The ceremony just starts and I'm already gonna look like this. If you have oily skin and you're getting this, you have to pair this with a primer. You have to use a heavier loose setting powder and a setting spray to lock it all in. Just this on its own is not enough. I do think this is a great match. I'm gonna put this as you don't need it. It's a good product, but is it sweat proof? Although I didn't sweat today. To me, that's similar with oily skin where you could just see it coming through. So I would say it is not from an oily skin girl. If you made it to the end, you just see bungee hop behind me. If you made it to the end of this video, please let me know down below, especially if you have oily skin, 
what is your favorite longwear foundation? I need to know as someone who's going to be doing their own wedding makeup because the next one I'm going to buy is the Dior one. Nikki on YouTube recommended that one and she's a professional makeup artist. I actually have it on me. I just don't have the right shade and I can't even make that shade work because it's just way too dark. So I need to go and get something a little bit lighter. I feel like that one's going to work really well for me. I think it's the one that you can use for your face and body. But either way, let me know your go-to foundation for long wear for oily skin down below. If you enjoy these types of reviews, these word tests, make sure to like it, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.